right? I know, right? All the cheese and all that. Hey, 906 right now. Uh, coffee talk time now. So could America adopt a four-day work week? I feel like you've done this story every seven seven, six years. It's or so. interesting. So this week, the results of a six month pilot program from the United Kingdom was released. And in the program, 61 companies agreed to let their employees work four days a week without reducing pay. But, uh, was it more hours though? Were you working like 10 hour days? Um, so here's I'm the deal. sure there I'm sure there was yeah. uh, 10 so hour days worked. The, the study looks at a couple of things. It, number one, it, it reported higher job satisfaction, lower rates of burnout, less work related stress, uh, you know, as a you know, working family, working mom, working dad has to help out, right? Yeah. There was also no drop in productivity. Despite this, some HR folks believe getting more American companies on board could be tough because of competition and the fear of falling B. Hide. And I think different jobs, you know, there are different jobs okay. where maybe you can work for four 10 hour shifts and whatnot, but you know, certain jobs in finance or whatnot, you got to be working when the markets are open. You know, there's certain times of that. I well, think doctors and, uh, you know, medical professionals. Yeah. It'd be a little tough. Even, you know, if you look at, you know, our first responders, maybe mm -hmm. you do four days, but they're longer shifts. You still need rest, right? You still need some time off well, and in order to be ready to go. That's why the first responders usually they'll work for 48 hours straight and then have yes. 48 hours that's off yes. or they'll work 24 hours and then have two or three days off. There's a way to do it. I feel like we've worked. We have we have some folks here, certain departments that work like our uh, producers that, who put the news together and whatnot. Right. Well, uh, work four hours or not four hours. <laughs> That'd they, be nice. That's me. Uh, no, they work. Um, <laughs> Uh, four days a week. Four days a week, 10, ten hours. hours. Yeah. yeah, and I worked that shift actually at my last company um, when I had the twins, and it was a lot, it, it is easier. Having that three day weekend, mm -hmm. it makes things a lot easier. It's an incentive too to hire, maybe get better people. Yeah, and I think it just kind of depends. Some people enjoy yeah. working those eight hour days, would rather do that. I think it depends on the company, what the profession then, like, is. like long holiday weekends, what you like work two days. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah, that would, I mean, it would be very nice in different different aspects. Does nobody but. work anymore. Does everybody stop? Let's just not work. Let's ever, hey, everybody. That let's, I don't think would work out very well. Let's go right now. Well. We'll all see you at the beach. Okay, <laughs> let's just go to the beach. There you go. Wouldn't that be nice? Yes. All right, so Spotify is planning to make curated playlists more personal. The company is rolling out a personalized voice DJ to announce its songs. Spotify has long made music suggestions for listeners. The difference now, though, is that it's going to introduce an artif artificially intelligent disc jockey to mimic listening to regular radio. Oh, like this, somebody comes on and goes, hey, everybody, you're listening to the hits. Uh, it comes on the heels of AI software like ChatGPT. I know you're thinking, I don't know. I'm thinking, what, what the heck's that? Mm -hmm. Making waves in other sectors. It will only be available to premium subscribers for no. My problem is, is I'm not, I'm cheap and I don't want to pay the money. So I'm just going to, once I hit the skip limited or what is it called? Limited oh, the skips, commercials. I'm going to just listen to the commercials and I'm just going to listen to what's next. I changed my credit card payment on mine. Uh, I had to change my credit card. So that card was canceled out on the, on the, my account. So mm -hmm. I haven't gone in and put the new information in now. And now I'm like, eh, that's fine. A commercial. Exactly. I'll listen you know, to it. I'm good. I mean, I'm good to go. Yeah. I mean, I don't mind. I wonder what the personalized aspect is, though. Your personal DJ. I hey, Lauren. Yeah. We've got the hits here I, now. Is, I want, you know, kids bop. Yes. <laughs> I want them to be speaking to me directly. Hey, you're probably having a really stressful day today. I hear you. I get you. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna calm you down with this next song. Like that's what I would want as a Here's personalized Enya. DJ. I may. Sky full of stuff. You know what we were talking about the other day? What? Delilah. Who oh, remembers Delilah? Delilah and is she still on air? I think she is. No. Delilah, Delilah. loves someone tonight. So that good. was so good. That was so Delilah. good. Hey, Hi, you're on with Delilah. That's Delilah. This is Lauren. And her, her voice is so Lauren sweet. and Dayton. What? Okay. No, I'm just making up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Say what? Very good. Um, yeah, it was good stuff. Okay. All right. We're going to have a lot more coming up on the extra, so make sure that you stick with us. Delilah.